Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing some more Sima Ai campaign. Ai ai ai, let's do it. Uh, so, first off, right, this guy's still living. It's just, I just can't make him happy. I can't, I can't make him happy, okay? He desires a higher core position. We don't have a higher core position. See, look, no core positions. And it's, uh, it's, it's reliant on this that we get, um, 13 more prestige. That's doable. That's very doable. So I guess we're keeping him around. That's awesome. Uh, so we want to go to Zhanka uh, next with this army. He's got no movement left. Um, ideally, we want to do something down here too. We want to send an army to deal with these guys. So I'm actually going to start a new army, I think. Uh, I might even have her head it up. Because she happens to be here. So um, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to send her over here. Once she gets here, I'll recruit her a couple more people. And, uh, well, I'll recruit her an army herself. And, uh, yeah, we'll stock up. And we can start attacking these places. Because I don't want to leave the north undefended. Because a lot of troops have been coming from the north. I don't know why, but they have. So, we're just going to have to keep people there, I think. Which is annoying. Because yeah, I'm sure there's more Jean Empire up here somewhere. I don't know where exactly. There's more here as well. So, we, we need to keep this safe um, while we go on the offensive elsewhere. But, with our income as high as it is, I think we're okay. Uh, I just want to check my assignments. Oh, good. Good. We do have more. So, let's put up income from commerce by 100%. Another thing we'll want to do is we'll want to make this the capital again, which costs 10 grand, which is a pain, to say the least. But we need to do it. It needs to be our capital again, okay? It's Reflect our capital. Our Issue ultimatum. What are you on about, mate? For what? Uh, offers peace on behalf of the Jin Empire. Uh, the Jin Empire is vassal. Okay. And uh, Tsima Yue has... 78 vassals. Wow, that's the biggest list of vassals I've ever seen. This is even worse than Yuan Chao. Okay, going to war with him is going to be an absolute bull lake, especially because he's managed to vassalize everyone I'm pals with and trading with. Oh, no. Uh, well, at least I'm trading with this guy. Great. That's great. <laughs> Alright. Uh, wow. Okay, yeah, this could be a real problem. If um, we want to take on Tsima Yue later. But yeah, Tsima Yong. Uh, yeah, who cares, mate? I don't care. I, I'm i not going to let you bully me. So suck you it. You expect too much. You expect too much? You said you're going to declare war on me if I don't finish the war that I had already started before you got involved. Now go away, okay? Go away, Tsima Yong. Or else I'll deal with you too. What are you doing? Battle is not always the answer. Military access and he'll pay me. Uh, Mal Ren's up here, right? Yeah, he is. Okay. Uh... Pfft. Sure. I'm already friends with everybody. Too many people, in fact. True. Too many people. Too many people, I think. I need to start conquering people. Okay, so. What have we got going on? And uh, yeah, vassalizes in Empire. And then I declared war on him. So, that's great. And Mao Ren's gone to war. <laughs> who now has military access through my land. And, uh, oh! Beijing just got wiped out. Oh, alright. Alright, Song Wei just took him over. Well, well played, I guess. And who are you? Oh, Ran Shen. He's, yeah, this guy. Alright, no worries. Um, Alright, I am Grand Prince now, though, which is awesome. So I can give that guy a nice court position. So, word of your achievements has travelled far. You're among the most prominent of the princes. None could doubt that you would make a fine regent. You could seek to claim the title by force and march your armies into the um, imperial capital, or you could prove yourself a worthy and dependable friend of the Jin, and perhaps find the role offered to you willingly. Well, it doesn't matter, because someone already has the prince, so I need to stop them. Which is... Yeah, how am I going to do that? It means I've got to go to war with him, right? Because I need that? He's not just going to come over here. So... Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that could be tough. That could be tough. I think I might need to sneak attack him. I don't know. We'll find out. So, uh, cool. We're Grand Prince, though. Uh, oh, okay. This is the guy that we're going to give a role anyway. Why do you continue to overlook me? My martial leadership skills are known to all. Give me command of one of our armies. You have an army. Or I shall take my abilities elsewhere. Then, one day, you may find yourself facing me on the other side of the battlefield. I stop being a jerk. Right, whatever. Just have some money and shut up. What a jerk. What a jerky jerk face. I'm about to promote. I mean, seriously, what the hell? Um, okay, so we can't get any bonuses. But... 
Oh, how come you can't? They can't go there. Why not? Character currently employed as an assignee. Oh, okay. Uh, that'll give me Noble Sport construction costs. He'll give me, yeah, same, same kind of deal. How about you? What can you grant me here? Yeah, nothing major. And, okay, you can't go anywhere, apparently. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just leave the administrator slot open. So, over here, uh, don't have to worry about the effects of the character, because he has quite crap effects there, which is a bit of population growth. I don't need to worry about it. So, I might just put him in here somewhere. So, let's go with cheaper recruitment cost. That feels like something he'd do. So, let's put him there. Cool. Alright, also, actually, let's have a quick look. So, uh, one thing people have been telling me, which, uh, it, I mean, it was relevant years ago, uh, when the game first came out. I say years ago, you know, a couple months ago. But then it seemed completely irrelevant because no one ever used spies against you. I never had a single spy action used against me, I swear. So, um, now they do, though. Now they actually utilize spies a lot. So, what you can look at is up here, if they're willing to spy for you, they're not a spy. Okay. Sometimes they're not willing to spy for you, and they're not a spy. But this way you can guarantee they're not going to be someone else's spy. So this guy could be a spy. Uh, that guy could be... That woman could be a spy. They could be a spy. This person isn't a spy. So we could recruit him. And here... I mean, that's great, actually. She's talented. Level 5 and not a spy. So I'm going to recruit her. And she's probably going to be livid. Um, ooh. Extra food production. Construction cost, population growth. I mean, that's all quite good. Prefer something commerce related, but, you know, whatever. Uh, how about this guy? Can we recruit him as well? I think I might. He's only level 1, so he probably won't be that demanding. So, what have you got going on? Anything nice? Nah. Not currently. How about him? Oh, he could be a spy, so never mind. Uh, right, so yeah. We have, uh, we have some more people now, which is nice. So... Could just make him that, because the bonuses don't matter regardless, but should probably have a look, see how happy they are. So yeah, level five, livid. They need to be somewhere. So extra industry and be happy. Good. Good stuff. So we've got some more characters and uh, for the most part they're happy. Ish. Uh got more buildings here potentially. So we do want the money to be able to promote chunks are they are on their last legs but i still think we need to recruit someone oh that's a good point we could even could even do another thing up here except what we could do is do an assignment elsewhere um so chunks are huge commerce uh that's mostly peasantry but also 900 commerce 700 commerce uh, ooh, 900 commerce in Nanhai. And plenty of scope to continue building it up. So, I'm going to do an assignment here, I think. So, let's go with the 100% uh, from commerce, etc. And extra wealth. So, brilliant. Let's do that. Wonderful. More money, please. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, so, yeah, cool. Uh, lean, lean. I could upgrade the soul maker. It's going to cost quite a bit. And Shang Sa. What have I got to upgrade there? Large city to regional city. Which actually I feel like I should have done by now. So I will in fact get that going. And then next turn, we should be able to afford to move it, uh, move the capital back there. Although actually, uh, we do need to build an army here. So that'll have to wait a second. So let's get, um, oh this guy's level 4. And young and isn't a spy. So I might get him. As you can see, I like strategists. I want to have a few of them kicking around. Um, leading my armies. There is cunning in so yeah, caution. good stuff. So you go there. And... Okay, who is in Shang Tsai right now? So we got we got some spears, which is good. So... I don't really want mounted archers. Actually, or do I? That'll give me a lot of flexibility. I might keep them. So let's do that. And uh, some of the G. One of the G, I think I'll change. Might get a trebuchet. Because I will want one eventually. So let's do that. Cool. So he should help defend that. Uh, over here... I mean, ideally, I just want to know if there's another target back here. Oh, well, Simeon is up here. 
in a few spots, huh? Interesting. I could march across and start taking some of this stuff. It would put me in a better spot to attack um, Tsimiyue if I need to. So that could be good. Do need to recruit more people over here soon. So yeah, a lot of expenses cropping up by the looks of it. A lot of expenses. Wish, and, oh, yeah, go get the tea house. Awesome. Yeah, you head over there. We have uh, military access with Tsimiyue, so we don't have to worry about it. Cool. All right, one thing I do want to check as well, actually. Uh, trade agreements. Okay, a few people are up for trade. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll go with the richest. Here we go. That'll get us the most. So let's sign that. So be it. And that's all of our trade agreements. Never mind. Uh, now, create vassal. Some people are actually kind of down for it. Including Tima Lun. Really? Wow, you've not been having a good day, have you? Let's have a look. Negotiate well, deal. Uh, you can you can have autonomy if you like. That's not a big, big draw for them. Okay. I won't bother with them yet. But I might be able to get someone else to negotiate. Maybe not them. I don't see their land at all. So him then. Yeah, I don't know where their land is. Alright, how about you? You, you game? Shall we begin? Ooh, he's way more game. So, guarantee autonomy. Ooh. And have... Uh... This. Yeah, he's down. Alright, we have a vassal. For our people. Excellent. Issue ultimatum. What? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we could mediate peace. Alright, Tima UA is actively waging war against our vassal. As their new lord, we're going to have a duty of protection over them. As a peaceful faction to us, we should attempt to resolve this diplomatically. Should they reject our offer, we will be obliged to declare war. Mediate peace. Oh, they signed peace. Excellent. Okay, good. We have a vassal, and we don't have to worry. Good. Okay, create vassal. Tima Wei? might be down for it. Who appears to have no territory left. Maybe. Negotiate deal. Thought you dead. We can guarantee autonomy. And I don't think we're going to be able to swing that just yet. Okay, we need to keep an eye on that, because we can get some vassals. And that would be very handy. I'm glad they signed peace. That's good. But yep, here's our vassal. So we should be earning a little bit more money out of that, which is good. I like that very much. And uh, honestly, once we take this, I'm not sure if I even want to take all this stuff. I want to make peace with them, because I feel like he's going to be a bit of a nuisance. I don't know. I kind of feel like I should be pressing in. But I guess I don't want to rush it, right? I mean, we're on turn we're on turn 74. Like, we've got time. If we can expand into territory easily, that's probably worthwhile, seeing as how we're fighting while well, the rest of China. Tsimi Yue is doing far too well. Uh, he really is. He really is. So, how much do we need? Another 200 prestige. And then, Victorious Prince. So how do we do that then? Reach the rank of Victorious Prince and annex or destroy all other major factions. Yeah, so that's going to be rough. That's going to be pretty rough. It's going to take some doing, I think. Uh, I mean, Seema UA is nearly dealt with anyway. Poor guys. So, could support independence for him. He's already a... Um... Yeah, he's already... Yeah, he's pretty under the thumb. Yeah, he's he's already working for Team UA, which is which is real sad. Which is real sad because I don't want to have to declare war on him because he's my friend apparently. Um, he'd be super easy to wipe out though, I think. Yeah, a lot of problems, a lot of problems. Uh. All right, you just head there. We'll we'll just skip to the next turn and see what's going on. All right, we'll see what goes on. But we've done some things, and things are always useful. But yeah, we definitely want to make Shang Tsao our capital again, rather than Nanhai. Though Nanhai is actually doing very well. He's actually earning quite a lot of money. Yeah, and he has no idea where he's going, does he? He doesn't. Uh, military access. Between uh, Shi Khan. Who's over there? Okay. Uh, I mean... Maybe? I guess? A pleasing foundation to oh, we ought to vassalize him in a minute. Apparently he's an underdog, so, you know, 
might already be a vassal, honestly. He could already be one of uh, Team Yo's vassals. Spy captured. Wait, what? Okay, that's definitely one of my generals. Oh dear. <laughs> well, um, good. Cool. So, uh, yeah, she's an administrator of ours, in fact. Isn't she the one who's in the south? Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I could execute her. Release her. Like, I've never seen the screen before, by the way. At least I don't think so. I don't remember it. Uh, I could employ them. Or release as a counter spy. So they could spy for me. Okay, that's the current retinue. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe I... I'm trying to think who the heck she is. Uh, I could just employ them. Screw it. Now they're not a spy. Uh, empower trade, they were trying to do. Well, no, I'm the trade boy. Okay, I'm the one who trades. So, no. And, oh. See, Miyan's been liberated. I might be able to get them to be my vassal. So, for a war to be won, it must be supported. Every battle must be fought with weapons and armor as much as men. Without these things, an army is no more than a mob, and a mob is swiftly put down. I know, right? I'm always saying that. Uh, that's basically my catchphrase. Right, what do we want now? So, we have 14k, which means we can make this our capital again. It's going to cost 15k. What? It cost 10k a minute ago. Are you kidding me? Did it go up by 5k because I'm a grand prince now? I bet it did. That is annoying, to say the least. Okay, fine. Fine, I guess Nanhai is our capital now. I guess this is our capital. What else can we do? Market Wharf, hell yeah. Let's do that. Wharf. Excellent. And over here. Yeah, it's got a pier going. That's lovely. I like that. And you make your way over here. And we'll recruit you some things. Saying that, let's let's have a little look. Who's... No, not diplomacy. Uh, so who was that? Is it her? No, it's her. Yeah. So where's, the, where's she the administrator of? Because she's got some mad bonuses there. She, she's the administrator of Shang Tsa, I'm pretty sure. That's insane. Okay, that's that's ludicrous. Okay, brilliant. Now, what can these guys do? What can you lot offer me? Oh, can't do that. That's what construction cost, etc. Ooh, 40% income from commerce, etc. Hell yeah. Okay, brilliant. Um, so. None high. You've got good commerce. So, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, Jian Ling's got good commerce too, but not quite as good as... As uh, Nan Hai, and I think Nan Hai has more room to grow. So, you can be an administrator of Nan Hai. Brilliant. That should put our income up some more. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Alright, so, uh, this needs an army. Need an army over here. So, you there... You can't get infantry of Jean, sadly. So, I might go with just archers and a trebuchet. Cool. Now, let's see if we can't get someone... Uh, I mean, a good cavalry command would be great. So, he doesn't look like he's going to be a um, spy, because he can spy for us, which is good. So, we do want a champion, ideally, because I want to get a bunch of spears. So, we'll have to be concerned with that. Wow, we can get cataphracts. Ooh. Yeah? I don't think we need an army with cataphracts down here. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'll just go with Lance, uh, Lance Militia, because they're, they're way cheaper. Uh, <laughs> could even go Peasant Raiders. No, I'll go Lance Militia. Cool. But yeah, I do really want a... Um, Champion. So I'll have to keep an eye out. I'll have to keep an eye out for one. I think. Because so far we just have archers, trebuchet, and some cav. It's not a good army. Um, it's a bit of a funny one, you know? So I might as well finish off the cav. There we go. Done. Our front line is cavalry. It's an insane army. We, we need another commander. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, also here, he needs something else too. Yeah, I can't trust any of these not to be spies. So, I guess you're just going to loiter there. That's fine. But, we're getting more armies, yet I don't feel like 
we're really missing out on anything. You know what I mean? Uh, we still got plenty of money. We're still building things as we go. I, I feel like we're still in good stead. Um, I'm not going to bother. I'm, actually, we get me a much better garrison. Much better garrison. So let's actually upgrade that. And this livestock farm might be good too. To do the same. Uh, do I want more food production? Nah. Go with more peasantry income. Might as well. And yeah, you guys just head that way. That'll be great. And... I'm pretty broke now, but I'm going to do a quick deal, see if we can upgrade a vassal. So, this person, I don't know where they are. I really don't. So, have autonomy if you like. Doesn't really change much. But, uh... See me young. They were the one that just gave up, right? I'm eager to listen. Uh, they just got liberated. And that looks pretty good. So, if you trade ancillaries... I reckon I could do it. Because we've got plenty of random armor that we don't need. So that and uh, noble's leather. Yeah, why not? Oof, so close. And I'll make a payment. You can have like 600 quid or something. Is that going to do it? No. Alright. Get rid of that. I'll do one more ancillary. Don't know what, though. Could do this. Kind of want to keep those, though. It's just all this armor I never use, so... You know what I mean? Let's do that. I want to equip that on someone, though. That looks awesome. Give Stork to the retinue. Let's do that. And be my vassal. Be my... Be my vassal. Issue ultimatum. Oh! Oh, alright. Sima Wen Chang. Tima Wenchang is actively waging war against our vassal, Tima Yan. As their new lord, we'll have the duty of protection over them. Um, as a peaceful faction, uh, to us, we should attempt to resolve this diplomatically. Good. Good. Excellent. So we have more vassals. That's right, I'm just trying to compete with Tima Yue for vassals now. That's, that is what I'm doing. That's my new vassal, isn't it? No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Here it is. These guys. Alright, it's not bad. Yeah. That feels good. Yeah, we've got a little vassal now. Over there. Another one over here. In fact, let's have a look at ownership. No, not ownership. Diplomatic status. There we go. Now we can see our vassals and our land and everything else. Isn't that nice? Pretty cool. Big chunk of China now. Doing alright. So we got wealth as well. Look at how wealthy that is. Not a very wealthy place, is it? What is going on here? How is that wealthy and this stuff isn't? What's up with that? This city is wealthy. Are you? Why are you so wealthy? Is it peasantry income? If peasantry income is high, it's wealthy. That could be the case. Anyway, um, cool. That'll do. Let's, let's do something else. What are we doing? Probably this. Let's do a, uh, ooh, we have new ones. We have new ones. This is cool. So, income from industry and construction costs for mines, fine. Uh, population growth everywhere. I like that. And lower building upkeep. That's pretty damn handy. Extra income from peasantry is pretty cool. Income from industry and peasantry and construction cost down. Another administrator. I kind of like that. And faction support and less corruption. That's all pretty useful. It's all pretty useful stuff. 10% um, retinue upkeep reduction is really handy because we will be getting a lot. Extra replenishment is sort of amazing. Um... I'm actually going to go with the population one, I think, and building upkeep. I think that'll save us quite a lot of money with the building upkeep, but it'll start putting our peasantry income up everywhere if we can start getting better uh, better populations. So I like that. Let's do that. Right. Uh, you can't keep moving. I think we're good for this turn, then. Cool. Moving on. Moving on. So, what's going on? This guy's still just wandering about. I do need to deal with him. I don't think he can really fight anything, is the thing. I don't know where he's headed. I don't know where he's going. It doesn't seem we like he's interested in fighting us. Uh, Huang Xin asked to join your military alliance. Our tiny alliance of just me and Timi Liang says no. Pity we couldn't agree. Right? Okay. 
Tsimiyue. Um, <laughs> yeah, still, still at war with Tsimiyue. I don't think Tsimiyue is going to win that. I think Tsimiyue might be screwed. And ooh, ooh, Tsimiyue liberated Mao Ren. Let's get Mao Ren. You wander across two courtiers locked in heated discussion. Compassion, one argues, is the most uh, meritorious virtue, whilst another insists that righteousness should drive all action. You ponder their reasoning as they look to your opinion. Um, flip a coin. Dunno. We're very close to this. We are very close to this. It'll be another trade agreement. So that's potentially a big increase in everything. I think we're going to flip a coin. I'm going to flip a coin. More wealth. More wealth. I only need 10 more wealth. That's pretty huge. I like that a lot. Especially because we have assignments that are doing that for us. So that's really good. So, Shangsa, still can't make you the capital. Sorry, Shangsa. I'm sorry, but I can at least make you a small regional city. You know, the least I could do. Um, so I do want to take this stuff over. So let's see if we have a vanguard. Still the same vanguard, huh? Still just this guy who doesn't like them. Uh, we've got this guy as well, who might be a spy. I don't know. But I'm going to risk it. Screw it. I need uh, I need soldiers. I need soldiers. Simple as that. Well, that goes all our money. All right, never mind. Um, cool. Cool. It's a start. Okay, can you get this tea house now, please? I feel like we've been trying to do that for a while. Uh, you there. All right. There's Malren. Welcome. Take so, a seat. we're going to vassalize you. I'm sorry. It's just, it's how it is, okay? You can you can do what you like, but you're mine now. As is your will. Yes. Issue your ultimatum between Sima Wei. Don't fight me. Good. Okay, and Sima Wanshan. Okay, don't. Good. Deal signed. Excellent. Excellent. We're bringing peace to China. Okay, we are bringing peace to China. Good. Good stuff. Right. Who next? Let's see if we can get just like a vassal every turn. That would be lovely. So, Tsima Wei still isn't... He isn't sure about it, you know. This will be short. You can you can be autonomous. No, he's not that keen on it. He's just not that keen on it. But, uh... Her, maybe. Because I don't really know her thing. Our patience is thin. Okay, that's her thing. Apparently she has uh, thin patience. Cool. Yeah, I think we'll just have to leave that for now. But still, we have basically been getting a vassal per turn, which is kind of nice. It is paying for our armies a bit. We're getting 1.3k per turn from vassals, which isn't huge. But of course, we can bully them and boss them around. Uh, or, what we could do um, is well we could made. annex them. Which, what would that do? What would it do? <laughs> I haven't annexed anyone. I'm not sure what that'll do. I mean, we'll get the territory, but I'm wondering what it'll... Like, what the effect will be for everyone else. Because that would be pretty rad, to be able to just get a big chunk of land back. I mean, we did promise their autonomy, so annexing them probably isn't good. Um, that's probably treacherous, right? Because we did guarantee their autonomy. Whoa! Annexing them now would be a little bit... Off. There is cunning in but, you know. So this army will be good enough to take out this stuff soon. So, you know. That's good. Uh, right. That army's just sat there. I don't know what he's doing, really. Loitering, I suppose. So, moving on. There's my vassal. Hello, vassal. Good stuff. But yeah, I think more people will be likely to become our vassals. Oh, army coming from the north. So, yeah. Glad I kept uh, Tima Ai there. Uh, but yeah, I think the more powerful we get, the more likely people will become our vassal. So, that's nice. Uh, oh god. Please stop fighting, everyone. Only I may do that. Yeah, please do. Whelm them, just like loads. Make sure they're like really whelmed. You know, just the whelmest. The whelmest. Right, let's do that for the extra noble support and commerce money over here mad population growth or I go with mad population growth and a bonus to industry income which would be pretty great considering that we have industry income coming in 
It will put down Reformation, but our Reformation is going up per turn. And in fact, it's almost on the next step. It will be 100% trade influence. We will be making a lot of money from trade very soon, which I like the sound of. Uh, so, extra food production and income from peasantry. Yes. Although, again, does lower Reformation a little bit. But that's okay. We can upgrade this. Maybe. So we're earning... We get 100% extra food income, and we're selling it. So that actually works out great, because that's making some food. That's making some food. Like, we're making food pretty well here. Um, so yeah, I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. Because yeah, we're actually positive in food here, somehow. Oh, that's making food too. So yeah, it's a pretty good system. It's a pretty good system. I like it. I like it a lot. We're earning a lot of money here. So yeah, what next? Uh, ooh, skill up. What have you got for me? Um, decreasing cooldown of abilities is kind of cool. Unbreakable I never really like getting. Uh, spear units, more armor. I like that. Battle running speed for his retinue is kind of cool. Um, extra range damage, which I like. Research rate and range block chance. Let's go with the spear one. That is kind of his thing. The fact he has all these archers is a little silly. But uh, they're his unique units, so he's having him. He's having him. Alright, so... I, I don't know what this guy's going to do. He might attack the city, but if he does, he's going to be there for a couple turns. So I can come to the support of it. It's not a problem. So that's good. So... I think we're just going to let that happen. We're going to take this tea garden. Because it's our tea garden. They can't have it. We just delegate that because that's going to be super easy. Thank you. So we'll have that. And we'll upgrade it too. So we have a better tea garden. Oh, it's got trade port as well. We get so much commerce here if we had this city. It's a real pity. Um, you know, well, let's see. Do you want to be independent maybe? I hope, he, I hope he gets liberated and then he can be my vassal. Then I can annex him. That'd be great. Or, if he was just, you know, made independent and then I can declare war on him. But he's my friend and that seems mean. I'd rather annex him. You know. It's always best to annex your friends. Greetings. Support independence. Eh. So it's like a quick deal, support independence. There is. Ooh. Okay. A few of them are game. So if I did that, I can just sign deal immediately. Good to see Would that put me at war with with uh, Sima Yue? Is that what that would do? It says there's no consequence, so I, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I'll have to try it at some point. I'll have to try that out. Because, um, yeah, I never really do that. I just declare war on people usually. So I'm not entirely sure how that works. The fact that I can just do that immediately. Because I'd just be supporting all their independence. And then immediately annexing them. Because that would be hilarious. You know, serves them right. Uh, so, now what? Let's have a quick look. See if everyone's happy. He is not. He is not happy at all. Everyone else is kind of happy. Um, sort of happy enough. It's just him. So you get a promotion for being livid. That's right. In fact... That desire for higher court position. He is level 4, so that does make sense. But he could be a spy. So, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. I'm not sure about him. Not sure about him. Because, yeah, he easily could be a spy. And we are we have run out of positions. So, he'll just have to deal with it. But it's fine. We just want to take this stuff over with him. And we can always replace him. So, it's not too bad. So, we're making some progress. That's for sure. Okay, what next? I don't know what this guy's doing. Not a clue. Jin Empire. Okay, another full stack. And a half coming in. And he's still leaving. He's still trying to leave. I don't know where he's going. Not a clue. No I feel I should follow him. Uh, okay, not a grudge with uh, Tsima Ju. Where are you? Um, I don't know where he is. So people have been telling me, just click on the thing. It's like, all right, sure. Where are they? Yep, 
I I don't see them in the list. There's there's no obvious look, this is who you're talking to thing in the list. There he is. There he is. And it doesn't scroll if you don't know where they are. So sometimes sure, just click on them, but I mean if you don't see them, you might as well just look on the map. You know? If you know their name, then you know roughly where they are or where they aren't if you know an area. So it's just it's not useful. Just put a zoom here, please, CA. Just for the love of God. Okay. Just put a little magnifying glass I can click on to go to them if if I can see them because um, this doesn't work This you have to search through these names as much as you have to search for them on the map so it doesn't help you anyway so uh, yeah not aggression packed I mean why the hell not right he's paying me and he's nowhere near me so but yeah it's a bit of a weird one I mean there are shortcuts in this game that are just not shortcuts they're just other ways of doing something uh, oh, shoot you's dead. Okay. Bye, bye, shoot you. Oh, what I might do is ambush forever. Hooray. Uh, right, so I have a tea garden now. I don't know what to do with this person. Now they're over here. Where would I want to put them? Where would I want to put them? I'm not sure. But let's take this town and then see. Two arms, decisive victory. Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got plenty. I got plenty of troops. We outwitted he them. is not. There's nothing to do with wit. Okay, nothing to do with wit. Not this even slightly. Suits our plan. That was a massacre. Okay, so you had a million guys, and they didn't. It's not wit. Very different. Uh, right. What next? So, there are a lot of guys here. Looks like they're probably going to go for that livestock farm. So, I do want to get over there. So, what I might do is recall these guys. So, let's recall all of them. And we're going to have to set them up somewhere else. Um, maybe in Changsa Trade Port and I can move them across. Uh, for now, though, because I can't recruit those guys this turn, I might get a couple more guys for him. Everybody hates him, except this guy. Who, oh, who isn't a spy. So, okay, China you're getting recruited then. China is people. Pew. Excellent. So that's good news. He's already livid at me. So you get some promotions. Be happy or I kill you. Please be happy. You can get that too. Alright, just be be ecstatic. Uh, military G, why not? I don't want to give him a military G. He's going to run away with it. Um, but yeah, you can have a book. Alright. Everybody gets a book. So, let's get someone low level. That isn't going to be demanding. And annoying. So, let's get... We oh, have no money. Never mind. It's It's something. It's something. So yeah, we'll redeploy that other army here. I think we'll have enough money because we're getting 11k per turn. So, I mean, that's quite good, right? 11k per turn with a ton of armies. I'm pretty happy. I think things are going well here. I feel pretty confident these days. Asian Empire. Wow, really? You're kidding me. You're actually attacking. Okay, this is possibly the most irritating thing that could have happened. I really just thought he'd be wandering around trying to get home. I didn't realize he'd attack me. Ah, oh dear. Um, he does have a trebuchet. If it's just one model, that's still going to hurt. Potentially. And fire arrows, so I can't rely on my arch, on my um, towers. Okay, this is frustrating as hell. Because this army is nothing. It's just such a non army. But now it's going to replenish and it will be a threat. Because it is a full army. Um, crap. What a nightmare. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to delegate it. I can't be bothered trying to fight it. They've got fire arrows. It's just going to be a waste. So, yeah, that is a massive pain. That is a massive pain. Especially with all these bigger armies coming from the north. Oh, come on. Get ambushed. Oh, ambush failed. At least we get to fight him anyway. So, it should be pretty easy. We can do a night battle. And, yeah, this should be pretty straightforward. So, we'll fight this one. Okay, then. So, which one of you bitches wants to dance? Battle! Battle! 
Ready for battle. That's my impression of them. Alright, go on. In you get. In you get, lads. Let's get fighty. Let's go straight for him, shall we? Okay, good. Uh, oh. No. I don't wish to fight them. Well, not like that, anyway. I don't want it to be a fair fight. Uh, well, I mean, sort of. It's just that we we know they're in a forest. This shouldn't be shouldn't be surprising. Oh, you lost sight of them, didn't you? Yeah, you did. All right, you guys head in. Uh, everything's going to catch on fire pretty shortly. Maybe just our own areas. They can fire while moving, which is awesome. I love that. But uh, yeah, you guys need to. No, no, none of that. You guys need to chill. Everyone's already getting a little bit concerned by the looks of it. You guys do need to actually get in there and start killing things, alright? Okay, good. Good stuff. These people don't seem the happiest, do they? No. No, they don't. Okay. You guys. Get in there. You lot are just so far away from everybody. Um... You lot, just keep blasting, I suppose. You hit him with them. You hit him with them. You give one the missile resist, which is rather nice. You double back. And now, I want you to go for the uh, yellow dragons. Good. Ludicrous amount of archer fire. Which I just love to see. Always. Good stuff. All right, you guys, go nail him. It's like it's just like lasers. Look at this. Wow, it's cool under here. It's very cool under here. All right, so, whoops. What have we got left going on? Uh, they're just gonna keep chasing, are they? <laughs> they're all blasting that lot, which is awesome. Oh, they got a bit hurt, huh? My lance cavalry, lance militia. Seems everyone else is pretty knackered, though. Ah, here we go. You go for them. Oh, lost them. Here we go. Cool. So, they've done a wonderful job. They've taken out them. You can just charge straight in now. And... You hit him with that. You hit him with that. I mean, wouldn't you? Really? Given... All this noise. Oh, yeah, they're broken. Cool. Uh, I'm amazed these guys still going. Not for much longer, by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, go, go finish them. Come on, man. What are you doing? Okay, good. Now let's move over here. What a crazy battle. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. That's a victory. And, uh, oh, right on the river. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I like it. I like it. We can see a lumber yard over here, maybe. Maybe. Do you think that's it in there? Over there, maybe. Or in here? That looks like it could be the lumber yard, you know. Just down here. That does look a bit like, you know, the dip into that lumber yard area. That could be it. Anyway, let's claim the victory. Good job, everyone. Good job. I'm proud of you guys. Proud of you. Cavalry didn't even get a chance to do much. Usually they get 700 kills, but they couldn't this time. Because uh, everyone was on it. So, well played. Well played, guys. Couldn't be prouder. Alright, now kick him into the river. Alright, fine. I guess that's good enough. Uh, do I kill him? So I have more things to give to my potential vassals. Yes, yes I do. Um, <laughs> uh, could go with money. Go replenishment. I think replenishment's fine at the moment. I'm going to go with the ransom. Good. So, off he trots. And, uh... And... Alright. Sima Liang has no... No qualm with it, I don't think. Uh, Huang Xin. Who are you? He's over here. He's over here. Uh, yeah. Sure. Why not? Why not? Keeps him from deciding to attack me from over there. That'd be annoying. That'd be very annoying. Okay, good. 
And, oh, there's a full stack. Oh my god, it's this army again. I, I remember you. I remember you. Little sods. Alright, um, boom. Boom, and a boom. Much better. You're still livid, aren't you? Nope, not you. You? You're livid. Alright, here. Have jobs. Good. She's happy enough. Happy jobs, everyone. Right, you. You can also have a mosey through this book. Good. That should cheer you up a bit. So, yeah, need to deal with him. Which is annoying. Uh, could go here. I, I can't see a movement. Come on. But show me the army. There we go. Show me the army. You can't handle the army. No. No, just me. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, let's do this. I like the idea of that. So, need to work out how to get this back, because that is the most irritating thing to have ever happened. We've had an army fairly nearby. But, uh, yeah, we need to get him. We just need to kill that army. That's the worst thing that could have possibly happened to us. Um, although we can redeploy that other army. Yeah, we can. So, it was her. Remain dormant. Uh, so now we have to redeploy all this. That's so everyone. frustrating. So, you. And... Come on. There we go. Uh, it was this guy, right? And... Who else? That wasn't it. It was this one and this one. Yeah, it's Ki... Uh, Chinji and uh, Bu Jun. I'm pretty sure it was. Both of them quite expensive. So... What did I just build? I just tried to build that. Maybe that'll free up enough to build one of these. So we'll go with this guy. And then we'll get uh, Kinji, I think. Because I can't afford him. So it makes the most sense to do it that way around. Also, I meant to do it in the lumber yard, not the city. Oh, I hate when I do that. Just click on that, click raise army. I need to raise army over here or something, you know? So, my bad. I'm always doing that. Uh, so this is still a problem. So he's been ambushed and is pretty knackered. So that's good. This guy can now move up here and ambush. And hopefully he can finish him off. And we will have to send Tsima Ai. Yeah, over the river. And we'll level him up. So what do we want? More cunning. That charge resistance is really good actually. We'll do that. So I do want to get here to Binding Fury for that mad splash damage. It's super useful. It is very, very handy to have. Um, yeah, that'll do. That'll do for now. But yeah, these armies are a problem. <sighs> so is this. This is so annoying to me. That is so frustrating. It's because he's actually got a trebuchet as well. Like, I just need to wipe him out. But uh, yeah, there's a ton of armies. Like this one too. I mean, what on earth? They're everywhere. They're everywhere. But, uh, I mean, the Jin are getting pretty injured, but this is a big war. You know, I thought after those initial fights, that would be basically it. But nope, they've come back in full force. It's it's hard to be mad. They're doing a good job. They're doing a good job. Much better than the Han ever did. So, good for them. But uh, this is so frustrating. I hate that. I can't believe they just happened to decide to attack that. Never mind. We'll get it back. We'll get it back. And we've got armies everywhere now. Which is nice. And yet, just not in the right places. Uh, so this one, we actually have quite the army. But I think, again, we're just going to get shot to pieces. Um, I've got the feeling. I don't think the garrison will be enough. So I'm going to let this happen. And we'll see what happens. I just want my timer isn't up. What is it? Okay, we're, we're fine. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, he's on the move. Hopefully we'll get ambushed. Looks like he might. Ambush failed. God, ambushes fail a lot more in this as well now, I swear. Before, they were fine. The <laughs> uh, what? Okay. That's great. So the ambush failed because this guy was a spy for the Jin Empire, I'm assuming. That's wonderful. That guy I recruited was a spy. But we have found out that he's a spy. But he was a spy. That is so annoying. Okay, great. 
Great. At least we still have the spears. Yeah, we still have the infantry. So that's something. Be a close defeat, though, apparently. And honestly, I think that's true. Because these guys will be able to beat the snot out of us. Um, yeah, the cataphracts are the real problem. Because we don't have the infantry. We just don't have the infantry to hold out against this kind of army. Um, got plenty of cav, though. So their archers are done. You know what? This could work. This could work. Let's give it a go. Alright, we've got to get a win. We've got to get a win. Alright then. So. Catapults ready. Which is always nice. Uh, you guys go that side. You guys go over here. So, they're going to be charging into the enemy cav. By the looks of it. So, that's going to hurt like hell. But, on the other side. We can basically just take out these... Um, Axe bands really easily and get into the back line and hopefully get these guys surrounded nice and quick. So we'll see. We'll see though. Could be. Could certainly be a problem. We'll find out. Uh, so, flaming shots straight into the middle. It's probably a good idea. Or I could try and go for the yellow dragons. Dunno. Why aren't you shooting? Oh, he is. Well, that was a bit disappointing. That was a bit disappointing. But it's fine. He's still only, it's only 20. Alright. Let's see how it is. That's more like it. Okay. 130 kills. 169. Not bad. Not bad. Gonna start moving up this way. Good news. So yeah, wanna charge him with them. 300 kills. Sweet. Alright, you start shooting that way. And you need to get around the back. You need to get into these guys quickly. Which means breaking these guys quickly. Okay. Good. Now you start getting that way. That charge should do some good work. Seems like it seems like it. Good. You fall back. Uh, you lot having a way of time. No worries. And good. This is exactly what we needed. Okay. Good. Okay, let's charge into that. You guys, move up. Okay, good. Yeah, keep trying to charge through. Okay, you pull back. You move along. You try and get to there. You try and get to here. Whoopsie daisy. I just hit cancel, right? Okay, that's weird. Okay, awesome. This is going well. And uh, they're getting shot to pieces. Which I'm a big fan of, personally. Oh, <laughs> I oh, love it. Alright, you know what? Back to those yellow dragons. You guys get to there. You guys get to there. Let's get just mad lancing going on. Let's hit their morale. Okay, all of this, uh, all of these charges should definitely help. You need to go back that way though. And oh look, it's those axemen. I remember them. Okay, you start getting up to them. 
you move back that way. Okay, you just get to there. Okay, so they're struggling a bit. Okay, good. So, they should be getting crushed right about now. You guys need to stop with the running around. Thanks. Okay, good. You move back. Okay, you're causing problems, which I'd like to see. <laughs> they haven't gotten anywhere, which is wonderful. They're out of ammo, but they've had 400 kills. Oh, you got pretty hurt, though. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, they've broken again. Wonderful. Uh, looks like we had... Oh, no. Nope, they didn't chat. We're good. We're good. So, that's fine. They can fight the archers. No worries. Oh. Okay, you guys need to pull out. Didn't realize they were fighting there for so long. And yeah, those cataphracts are being a bit of a pain, but we're good, we're good. Okay, start heading down that way. You two, go finish off those cataphracts. They broke, which sucks. Alright, you start going for them. They're still being a bit of a pain, but that's fine. Uh, okay, more units shattering over there. Good. Alright, uh... Okay, they're getting wrecked. So that's something. They're not happy. So, that's good news. Oh my god, die already. Men are out of ammo. That's a pity. Uh, you attack them. Thanks. Uh, he looks like he's wavering, which is wonderful. Looks like they're all wavering, in fact. Excellent. Okay, good news. Hell yeah. That was a fun fight. That was a fun fight. I enjoyed that. A lot of cav commanding. I like my cav. And, wow, one of them got 745 kills. Which is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It'll do. But yeah, we did well. We did well. To say that one of our generals was a spy. Because of course he was. <laughs> so annoying. Alright. So there we go. So yep. That guy we will just hire, I think. Uh, do we, was that a fish hat? That ancillary. I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to go replenishment. I like that she had full harmony, while in the background she was just going, ah, Which I think is wonderful. So harmonious. Screaming into nowhere. Wonderful. So, Jean Empire. To avoid Military access with Songwei. Uh, I don't see why not. Don't even know who he is. But I'm feeling generous. I'm feeling generous. I'm slowly going to vassalize everyone, so... Spy captured! We're going to employ him. We're going to employ him. Alright, he's ours now. And, yep, try to empower trade again. Yeah, you need to, get, need to stop doing that, guys. You're just going to get spotted. And I'm going to end up... Ooh, Shan Yu. Okay, let's see if we can get Shan Yu. More armor, lovely. Uh, you, go finish them off. And here he is. Let's take him out. Get in the sea. Oh, oh, you missed the sea. They lack well, a coherent right. strategy. No worries. In service of the Empire. So she got some levels, which I'm I'm proud of her for. Uh, so we will want to get fire arrows when we can. So we'll head this way. Just get the ranged armor piercing damage. Seeing as how all she has is ranged. And you start heading over there. Lovely. So over here. Um, we need another army here. Of course, we need this guy back. Costing only six grand. Ugh. Alright, you head up there. He will have a full stack soon. And he will be attacking places, so we're gonna have to deal with him pretty quickly. 
he's in a very precarious spot. So, we're going to have to watch it. You know what? I don't want to do that. I don't want to build that. I want to build somewhere that will actually benefit me. Um, you know, the places where I have a city, basically. So, what I could do is go for the um, military infrastructure. That way, I can actually get to garrison in my capital. Although, this isn't my capital, because I still can't afford it. Which is wonderful. Um, yeah, just go for that. More of that. Thanks. Dunno. Dunno. So, what's up with this? Building's down, huh? We need more noble support. Need more noble support. That puts up noble support rather handsomely. And commerce. Yeah, let's do that. Good. Uh, over here. That's going to put down noble support, but people seem pretty chill. Generally. Uh, right, what we're going to want to do is get over here. Okay, we just... Just going through this this little forest is the worst thing in the world. Why wouldn't the river crossing be where the city was? No, we have to wade through here. Because I need to fight this. It's very annoying. And, okay, I got this army as well. So what I could do with this one... I'm not sure I want to push that way. I think I want to go to Shangsa trading port and try and hold that. So we'll do that. So I'm a bit broke. We got some vassals. We'll see if we can get another before we finish. Ooh, trade agreement. Yeah, this guy. Why the heck not? Uh, yeah, done. We are in Great vassal. Uh, yep, Shanyu. Do you want to be Greetings. a vassal? Ooh, he very much does, huh? Alright, I'll make a payment. Here you go. Here, have some money. Well, I can afford it. Good. To Thanks. Awesome. Great vassal. Who else we got? Huang Xin. He seems Glad down. See eh, maybe not. Maybe not. I think I could do it. I think I could do it, but... I'd have a give up a lot, I think. Um, so that. Good to see and offer autonomy. Yeah, not so much. Alright, but hey. A vassal a turn. <laughs> still, still managing to do a vassal a turn, which I think is really funny. Getting some money from tribute, barely anything, honestly. We're not getting much, but it means these people are on side, which is good. And I think it does count for our um, sort of victory conditions. Although, I guess the victory condition doesn't matter in this one. You don't need territories, so you don't really need vassals. It's only if I can vassalize the major factions. But I guess the more random minor factions that I vassalize, the better, right? So, you know, we've got our three vassals here. In fact, four. We've got two there. So we've got four vassals. Yeah, not bad. I like that we have this, though. This is giving me some sort of line of sight in places. Because the Jin Empire is still way up here. So, like, all this is Jin Empire. And we should be able to take all of it. And hopefully, vassalize these guys in the middle. So, yeah. I'm glad we have this army over here, for sure. So, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. It's gone a little bit longer than it should have done. But only by a couple minutes. So, I'd say I'm doing pretty well. Uh, right. So, this is brilliant. I think we're doing really well. This is an, obviously a massive annoyance, as is this, but we've made some really good progress, so um, I'm pretty chuffed. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.